This is my lava lamp that I made using a big wine bottle. I don't drink wine. So I bought the bottle, cost about 20 bucks, poured everything out of it, washed it out real good, tried a few dozen experiments in it as far as the uh, liquid goes, and I just couldn't get the hang of making a lava lamp uh, the typical way, so I used um, Wesson oil and uh, some uh, motor honey and some uh, 70 alcohol, 91% alcohol, and a little bit of, the, of distilled water, and um, this is it. I also took a, uh, I used a 75 watt bulb. I'm using a typical lava lamp, lamp itself, as you see in the bottom. And I put a, something on top to lift that up a little bit. But I bought this item from Walmart, this, uh, like a glass case, jewelry case, or some kind of case. But um, I took the top of it off. And to keep the, bottle from smothering the face of the lamp, I put a screen in between the bottom of the jar or bottle and the top of the lamp. So that way the, uh, so the lamp can breathe. But in the meantime, I was able to put a 75 watt bulb in there. So the more heat I'm able to uh, put in there, it causes more of this uh, excitement inside the bottle. And once I did that, uh, ooh baby, <laughs> now look at here. Let me bring you in closer. we need now is some bacon. <laughs> yes, Lord. See at the bottom, it's got its own little world to it. That's nice. And it jumps up and down like it ain't got no sense. Well, I hope you like it, and I name this my Jewel Lava. It's made of oil, but still, looks like a bunch of jewelry rings or jeweled rings. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. My name is Andre. Uh, peace to you, doggone it, and I'll see you next time around.